my ft710 radio hf radio as a built in automatic antenna tuner with a range of up to 3 is to 1 swr i can use it to tune different frequencies within a band because you know my antennas are homebrew and far from perfect so they do not have the same swr from one end of the amateur radio band to the other end so i need the built in antenna tuner to tune up to exact resonance when i am working on a frequency it cannot be used for uh, antennas which are not meant for that band for example i cannot use this built in tuner to tune for 20 meters using a 40 meter antenna that is way out of the range of this antenna tuner for that i'll need an antenna tuner with a higher range maybe about 10 is to 1 i do not have that and i have not used that also this is an automatic antenna tuner within the radio which i find it very handy now i'll show you how to use the automatic antenna tuner in this radio you choose a frequency which is free and uh, make sure that nobody is transmitting the and ideally you should ask uh, two or three times whether this frequency is occupied and after that you can press the tune button single press of the tune button will bring the tune indicator there but it has not started tuning it and if you want to tune it what you do is long press in between there will be highest wr indications also that is because radio is choosing the particular swr minimum swr point and after this has been done if you press the ptt you can see that the, the swr is quite low i'll just show the pressing of ptt that is uh, without audio only i have pressed i didn't want to uh, have an audio in ssb mode you know that uh, uh, without using a tune or something you will not get much anyway you have seen that it is well below 1.5 but uh, if you are uh, trying to call it will be usually shown as much lesser is this frequency in use is this frequency in use once the antenna has been tuned to a particular frequency that is uh, stored in the memory of the radio so that when you come to the same frequency you don't have to tune again provided you are using the same antenna and cable if i am using a different antenna because on 10 meter i can work either with my enford antenna which is having hl of 200 cable of 10 meter length and uh, 49 is to 1 balance at feed point or i could work with my combination dipole 40 10 meter combination dipole which has a 1 is to 1 current balance at feed point and run off uh, 15 meters of rg213 coax both these antennas will work for 10 meter but if i have tuned for one antenna and then try to use with the other antenna my automatic tuning will not work i will have to tune again similarly when you want to check into a net what you do is you tune about 5 or uh, 5 kc up or down and make sure that the antenna is tuned and then go to the frequency and you can transmit and during the tuning process radio cuts down its output only a very small rf output is used during the tuning process so that even though the meter shows high swr in between red indicator is shown it will not damage the radio you would have heard the rattling of relays within the radio while it was tuning that is because it is selecting the best combination of capacitor and inductor for matching the antenna to your radio and then it is that combination is stored in the memory so that within another 10 kilohertz or so if you operate or on the same frequency you are operating you don't have to tune again what happens if you try to tune to a band which is not uh, within the range of the antenna you see the radio refuses to tune it because this is 160 meter band nowhere near the range of that 
antenna. It shows a high SWR indicator and refuses to tune. This is the feature of most of the modern SDRs. It will cut down the output when you try to use on a band in which SWR is high. Same thing happens if your antenna is disconnected also. Suppose you try to start transmitting without the antenna connected, then also same thing happens. That is an important protective mechanism in modern software defined radios to prevent damage to the final RF stages.